And now on to an inspiring story about an artist who learned to see through his paintbrush when his world went dark. Before going blind at the age of 30, John Bramblett had never even painted before. But now his works are talked about around the world and his experience inspiring millions. If you ask John Bramblett what the world is like, chances are he'll tell you it's full of colors. Bramblett is an artist whose work is defined by bold and expressive palettes and speaks volumes. But it's hard to imagine that the man behind these colorful paintings is the man who's been living in the dark for over 13 years. At 30, he suffered complications from epilepsy, which left him irreversibly blind. Whenever, whenever I first lost my sight, I was really angry. I, I, I was so angry I wouldn't even admit that I was angry. I was angry at everything. I, the world and my, my life, it seemed like. It seemed like everything that I, I don't know, was important was, was sort of taken away. I, c I couldn't leave the apartment on my own. Um, I couldn't read anymore. I couldn't write anymore. Losing his vision is a turning point in Bramblett's life. He called it the deepest, darkest hole. But he eventually climbed out of that hole by picking up the paintbrush. <laughs> I would thought about painting before, but I, I, um, I, don't, know, I don't know, it may, may sound horrible to say, but I, I never thought I'd be any good at it. And then when I lost my sight, I thought, well, if I'm no good at it, I'll never be able to, I won't have to look at it anyway, so might as well give it a try. When I first started painting, I, I, I never thought about showing them to anybody, and, uh, ever. And um, I just did it because I, I thought it was something I, I needed to do. I needed to have an outlet. If I hadn't lost my sight, I, I don't think I ever would have started painting. It, um, the whole the whole beginning of, of painting really was symbolic. It was, um, you know, to prove that I that I I still had some sort of perception. I could still see. Over the course of painting, he realized that every shade of color has its own special textures. He figured out how to mix colors by feeling the differences between textures in the oils. He also learned how to apply the paint by outlining an image and using his fingers to guide the brush strokes. Through just his touch, he can see his subjects. It seems like it might be different, but um, the only difference really is is that instead of using my eyes to see the painting, I, I use my fingertips. Even the, the, di the different colors of paint f feel different, where white will feel really thick like toothpaste. And black is a little runny, a little, little bit like oil. So if I want a gray that's halfway in between, I can mix the white and the gray until, in, until the texture feels like it's a little bit thick, a little bit runny. He has never seen his own wife or his young son, but it's clear he knows exactly what they look like. His portraits are proof that his fingertips are every bit as perceptive as his eyes once were. Starry, starry night Paint your palette blue and gray Look out on a summer's day With eyes You'll often find him in museums or at schools teaching his technique and what he has learned about life and color to children. Blind he might be, but the painter's vision is as bright as his art. Catch the breeze and the winter chill in colors on the snowy linen land. Shen Li, CCTV.